हे गाइस आई एम निशान एंड वेलकम टू साइबर नाइटिको सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स इम्प्रूव द यूट्यूब लाइक सिस्टम द डिज़ाइन ऑफ द सिस्टम दैट वी हैव ऑन यूट्यूब दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर लाइक सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव दिस वीडियो हेयर ओपन इन दिस ब्रेव ब्राउजर एंड हेयर इन द क्रोम ब्राउजर विद डिफरेंट अकाउंट्स वी हैव लॉक्ड इन सी दिस आई कैन हेयर एट द टॉप इट्स डिफरेंट सो वट शुड हैपन इज इफ आई लाइक दिस वीडियो देन हेयर दिस इज नॉस दिस इज नॉट गेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टेड इट विल बी ओनली रिफ्लेक्टेड वेन आई रिफ्रेश दिस पेज ऑन द सेकेंड विंडो और द ब्राउजर नाउ इट्स सेवन एन द बोर्थ प्लेसेज देन इफ यू अनलाइक दिस इट इज नॉट कैचिंग अप हेयर इन रियल टाइम सो लेट्स सी हाउ कैन वी डू दैट using real time databases or using firestore on snapshot functions so basically what i mean is we will improve the system design of youtube and we will make it what is it we will make it real time because it's not real time here so i will be taking the difference from my application that is linkedin clone so i have logged in here with a user called sagar and in here the user is uday they are both different users so i have made two posts each from one of them i am sagar and i am uday we have the functionality to like the post and comment but we are focusing on likes itself not the comments so let's say that from uday we like this post from sagar so if you see that this post count will be updated in the sagar user in the other browser or let's say other environment if i do the same thing here let's say the likes count is 1 if i click it again it will be 2 2 people like this post and the same thing here so the same is with the uday if i like this post which is i am uday from sagar the likes count will be updated here as well in real time if i like it again from uday same user same post it will be here as well so this is called real time updates and to implement that i am using firebase you can use one more thing called this socket let socket.io we can use this library for node js and for maybe react or javascript basically for server and for client to implement the real time database without using firebase so if you are using node js and express and such you can use this thing i mean socket io but i am using this firestore so let me show you how i handled that likes count and the single user single post like functionality which is in real time so let me go to the code now so here i have this posts card which is showing you all the posts for the user so for example we have this two posts here from sagar and uday so i am logged in with uday and two posts are here like sagar and uday fine so we are showing it here so we have this component called like button so let me just comment out or remove this so we'll see that we don't have the likes or comment button boxes here if i bring it back it will be here so let me explain how i am creating the user so come to the firestore database so let's say that we have our, we are creating a user called uday so let me show you this users table we are storing some data when we are creating a user so for example okay yes so we have this name image link and email fine and this id as well so whenever we create a user or user registers in this page we will have the these details saved in the database or users collection now if that user makes a post so for example let's say we are uday or i am uday i i made a post called i am uday so this is doing what 
it will store your user id as user id here i mean for example this post is something and its content is uh, yes it's just simple string so let me choose some other one let me find out okay this one okay my coworker was right the linkedin this is not the real linkedin but i'm but i can go to the real linkedin by using this link fine so we are storing this post i mean the id of the user who made this post which is x x and x and what not this user id fine then that's done i mean we're storing this in this post so each post we will have a user id which is user id so what i am doing is i am passing three things here the user id which is current user dot id the id of the current user that we are logged in let's say uday then the id of the post that which post that we are on so for each post we have a id not this id this id which is a t u p l and what not i mean this post id we are passing that as well with the current user which is logged in so we are passing these three things user id the current user id i mean the post id the id of the post and the current user we have a function called handle like here and it's running when we click like button and when we click the function when the function is invoked we are calling an api called like post so in the firestore api.jsx we have this like post in here we are passing these things which is the id of the user the id of the post and one more property called liked so let me just first show you i mean tell you about this thing the liked will be that liked property will come later we have the user id and post id we are creating a unique id in the like table so we also have a like table here let me show you this we have this table so whenever one user or any user likes a post say sagar or uday likes this post called i am sagar so we are getting the id of uday the id of this post from sagar and we are merging them together so we have this user id and post id so for example let's say this one 181f and i mean this first one we are having an underscore here in between like this so it is an ml gauge ml what is the word ml gation let me search ml gation ml what is how to spell this ml gamation it means combination of the user id and post id together okay so then we are using this function called set doc and it is taking which document to like i mean if it is this document or this post or this post and we are storing the id of the user and the post id like in this in this field fine so that's done so we are getting the id of the user and the post that the user liked fine so that is how we are handling likes but now you must be asking how are we getting likes on the screen so we have one use memo hook that is running another function called or another api called get likes by user this is this one so basically here we are passing the user id post id and set is liked set likes count these two are setter functions that will be used to set some data from this api call we are calling this use memo hook or this is rendering when the user id and post id changes so what i mean is let's say that we have two posts here sagar and uday on the screen just for instance if we have two posts this means that 
this function will run twice or two times. If we had three posts, this function should run three times, get likes by user. And it passes the user ID three times and the post ID three times, I mean the combination. And yes, I mean the combination it passes three times. So three times this API will run and each time it will determine which post I mean the states of the post that it has been liked by the user that is logged in or not. So we have this user ID, I mean the ID of this current user, the post ID, ID of the post, fine. So it's coming here. Then we have a query here. So this is to determine that if that we like, the, for example, we have the posts and it has post IDs. Let me see post ID. Wait a second. So if the post ID is equal to this post ID, sorry, this is not in the post table, sorry, in the likes table. Yes, sorry. So it's checking. So if the post ID that we are passing here, is it equal to the post ID in the likes table? So if it is inside, it means that user has liked this post. Let me explain it again. So we are passing the post IDs of each post, this post and this post. Then it is checking that is the post ID that it is getting two times for this post and this post. Is it inside this table, which is like table? So if it is inside it, it will store this. I mean, this query will be yes or true. If it is not, this query will be false. Then we are passing this query into this on snapshot function to determine the likes count. So yes, we are determining, determining the likes count from the on snapshot function. And we are storing all the likes in this like. So in this case, we will have two, I mean two, I mean one array with two objects. Then we are checking if this likes table has the ID, I mean, we are now we are checking that we are using this current user called Uday. If its ID is equal to the ID inside this table, which is the user ID. Previously, we were checking for the post ID, it is equal or not. If it is equal, we will show it here. If it is not, we will not show it here. So if it is equal, we are storing the data, which is true or false, boolean value in is liked. It means this user that we are on has liked the post or not. Using this check, like dot user ID from this table and user ID from the current user ID. Then we are setting is liked in the setter function called set liked and the count using length that's simple fine so we are getting all these two data which is where is it set liked and set likes count so we have a value i mean we have a state called liked we're also passing so first of all what happens is the use hook runs when the page mounts this function then runs when we click a like button so we are storing the status of likes, whether the current user has liked one post or not in the state called liked. I showed you, I mean, I explained this to you, the science behind it or the logic. Then what we have to do is we are passing this liked to this function called likes, po like posts. Now, whenever we like a post, this will first check that the post has previously been liked or not. So if we like the post previously, this will simply delete this like from that post. It means unliking the post. So if I make, if I click unlike here, this will be destroyed. I mean now we click the, we click this button called like. 
then if it is liked in this current case this will delete document i mean this document but if you like it again this will set the docs to user id and post id so that is how it works we also have this i mean i explained this to you so that's it and now if you check let me unlike this post from here and from the brave browser so let's say that we are on sagar user we like the post of uday it's currently not liked from any user if we like this it will reflect here as well i mean the post of uday but if we liked this post from uday from i mean if we liked i am sagar from uday this will reflect here as well and that is how we can use this logic to improve this like system in youtube and that's all for this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one